Hey guys, I'm back! I've been away for a week to the Faroo Islands to shoot an Avatar fan-made video. More about that very soon. In the meantime, let's go to the arcade. But if you're like me, you suck at every game there. Oh, what a loser! Luckily, After Effects has always covered our back. Whether it was to take an impossible shot, shoot an apple from Jenik's hand, or even fake a trick shot that nobody knew how it was done. Well, actually, you all did because we made a tutorial about it. But today is different. We're gonna get the high score at the arcade and nobody will ever know that we cheated. Welcome to Cinecom! Once this set is finished, it's time to actually start shooting for the effect. And the first shot we'll take is the one of our talent. Our talent has the basketball and just throws it to the hoop. At the moment the ball is going through the hoop, somebody else walks in and grabs the ball before it hits the table. Then the talent just continues to act like he's moving the ball with his magic powers. And then finally you just drop the ball back into the hoop so that talent can grab the basketball. Then for the second shot we'll grab our basketball and attach it to a rock. And with this prop we can now move the basketball through the hoop in a controlled manner. And a big benefit of doing it this way Way is that your basketball will interact with the net making it more believable and then of course with most vfx shots we'll also need an empty shot and that's it like you guys know we have created a buttload of effects and videos some super cool some very cringy and i was wondering which video do you like the most my favorite video is where we turn jordy into an old man cool effect very weird sketch and did you know that we use storyblocks a sponsor of today's video for every effect from the smallest light leak and smoke asset to green screen shots explosions macro shots and much more remember our stranger things video well for the title animation we used an after effects template from storyblocks and with some music and sound effect we made the strange things video even cooler this all you can find in the ever-growing library of storyblocks with more than 1 million royalty-free high-quality stock assets in HD to 4k resolution with our recent avatar planet video we needed a ton of assets luckily that isn't the problem because we can download an endless amount of assets with the unlimited all access plan and unlimited really means unlimited you can download the entire library if you want making it super easy for creators to create more videos without losing quality however you can also check out other affordable plans there's one for every need if you want to know more about storyblocks and how to start downloading right away click the first link in the description below or go straight to storyblocks.com slash cinecom you're filming this high score yeah the first thing I will be doing is removing everything that doesn't need to be in our original shot. With the original shot in the timeline, I will add the empty shot on top of it. Because we were stupid and used a flashing light in the background, I first need to sync the two shots. Once done, I will add a mask to the empty shot and remove myself and all my shadows. I also accidentally removed Jordy's hand and a part of the basketball. But don't worry, I'll fix that. Let's take a duplicate of our original shot and place it on top of everything. On this clip, I will rotoscope every body part and basketball that covers our empty clip. For us, this will be every time Jordy covers the golden table. Now, if you're smarter than us and made sure your talent doesn't cover your basketball machine thingy, then you can actually just skip this rotoscope step. Of course, keep in mind that your talent will catch the ball at the end. So, this means I will also animate the mask on the empty shot towards the end, revealing the whole catching scene. And voila, everything is gone that we don't need. Next up, our ball animation. I placed the ball clip in the timeline on top of everything. First step, let's sync the two balls from the original clip and fake ball clip. I made a simple hard cut between the two on the moment the ball is 
inside the hoop is covered by the net. And now it's time for some time remapping. Right click on the ball clip, go to time and enable time remapping. I'm going to create a keyframe every time the ball is on its lowest point inside the hoop and on its highest point above the hoop. I did this for a long part on the clip but not entirely because probably I won't be using everything. Next up I selected every keyframe I just made, except for the very first one. Then I looked for the point where our talent moved their hands upwards. I will now drag all the selected keyframes to that point, making the first selected keyframe align with the exact moment. Now deselect that first keyframe and again look for the point the talent moved their hands. Again drag all the selected keyframes to the left, align the first keyframe to that moment. And repeat this principle until your talent stops moving their hands up and down. On a certain moment Jordi decided to act like he's floating the ball up in midair. Here I actually made a cut, duplicated the clip right of the cut and on one duplicate I freeze framed the clip making it stand still in midair. The other duplicate I will use to make the ball fall again. I looked for the point where Jordi moved his hands down for the last time and make the duplicate start right when Jordi starts moving. Now this part is actually the end of the whole ball animation so we need to cut back to the original ball and this I want to do when the ball is inside the hoop. But first I will sync the fall of the two balls with the time remapping keyframes on the fake ball clip. I try to match them so I can again make a hard cut inside the hoop, making a smooth transition between the two balls. Voila our motion is done, now it's just a matter of masking. I pre-composed the ball clip and duplicated the pre-comp. On the lower duplicate I will create a simple square mask revealing the ball and part of the wooden backplate. On the top duplicate I will rotoscope the ball when whenever it comes above the basketball hoop. With these two clips combined, I now singled out the fake floating ball. Then the only thing left to do is animate the part where the ball is freezed so it looks more natural and floating. And of course, we can't forget to remove the stick attached to the ball. Sometimes it's visible, but we can easily remove it with the CC simple wire removal, which we only need to use on the lower ball duplicate. As a final touch, I will pre-compose the two ball clips and add the pixel motion blur effect to reintroduce motion blur. And voila, we are done. You're filming this? All right, this is how you can cheat at the arcade. <laughs> yes, baby! <laughs> High score. Now you're probably wondering how to do that trick shot with the box while well, entirely inside After Effects. Here's that tutorial on my left. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank you, Storyblocks, for your support. And as always, stay creative.